Well, hello there. I'm hoping everybody is staying safe tonight. Everybody, or at least having a good time somehow. I'm getting back into some more out of the worlds. If you like what I'm doing, just hit the like button. Uh, if you like what, I, also, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Uh, but do me a favor, hit the like button. It sends out some positivity towards my way, and any positively, any <laughs> positivity sent out is pretty good. All right, let's get into it. Hmm. I wonder if these studies help me. Oh god, okay. Alright, let's see what we're doing today. Come now, the power. You delivered Reed's message, but Adelaide refuses to return to Edgewater. Head to the geothermal plant and redirect the power. Adelaide proposes that you divert the geothermal plant's output to the botanical lab, depriving Edgewater of power. Hmm. I say we go back to Edgewater and talk to some of their citizens. Be the fun in that. Is there a way to set a waypoint? Guess not. Uh, we gotta go southwest. First, we gotta get out of here. Alright, before I like divert power to any place, I want to talk to the townspeople. I know the people here seem to be happy. Alright, pick up some meat. Oh, sweet. Can put it away. Look at the sky. It's a ring. Try to avoid the town, avoid this. <laughs> huh? 
you hiding? Get you ready. Scared. Scared. Good enough. Give me a sec. <laughs> Crap. She's down. I wonder, how, I wonder if there's a way to raise her. Something you need? No, not right now. I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but not your mom. That's on account of how I never met her. You, you mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. That's inhumane. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. What? We'll talk later. Is that thing? Mechanical sentry? Some hate this guy. Kane Van Anchor, Spacer's Choice, Anthologist. Oh, Anthologist assigned to Terra too. This week, I've decided to study predatory mating habits. Hmm. Looks like that was a bad idea. The female pred terror rays. I wonder if the P is silent. The female terror rays leave their nesting area in the morning and return in the afternoon with random objects. Typically something shiny or bright. 
Then they build a display with their objects and perform what I can only describe as a dance for an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site. And don't be late. I expect punctuality from my assistant. Is he the assistant or is he the... Okay. Apparently he's the assistant. <laughs> Gerald had a bad night. Vicar back his book. <laughs> I've got your book right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French! It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is! French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want this book to keep others from reading it? You just wanted it for yourself? Overreacting a bit, don't you think? That book seems a bit more important than you let on. I'm gonna go with this one. You're overreacting a bit, don't you think? Over... Overreacting? Do you have any idea how many years I spent in... <sighs> no. You couldn't possibly know, could you? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. This has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. I certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. It's what I need French. to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. in it for me free spiritual counseling someone to watch your back not to mention a grown-up in the party i'm 28 exactly i'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick or any blunt instrument really i'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that i can usually talk my way out of conflict though oh i'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well At all part of your vicar training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my seminary days. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding on the field. Dude, are you even a vicar? Because you aren't sounding very vicarly right now. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the Grand Plan. But instead, 
I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Sounds good to me. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. points on here. Alright guys, let's talk to some people. To see if they actually like it here. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. We don't get a lot of visitors. And your rations yet? Yep. Two whole cans of salt tuna. shop general store Ooh, let's go shopping I'm not allowed in here not Why since not? the vending machine incident Holcomb got my eye on you girl something you need you mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore yeah seems to be a story there there was a it's kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. So, would we get thrown out or what? You probably wouldn't. I've always been good with my hands, right? So, I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So, I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Hmm. <laughs> nice. It's not funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? No. Go on. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Rose still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Alright. <laughs> Miss Holcomb up, ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. The vending machine thing? That was ages ago. She'll be on her best behavior, won't you, Provardi? Absolutely. I'll keep my hands in my pockets. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. 
see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Ooh, hammer. Sawed off shotgun. Me look like Star Lord. How much money do I get? Nine armor, huh? Outfit. Standard troop helmet. That makes me look like Star Wars. Hell yeah. Alright, let's sell some stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what to sell. I mean, I suppose I don't need like three of these. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Have some questions. Go right ahead. What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's no, uh, a fine and yeah. dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. The blister on my ass is prettier than Edgewater. I'm glad you're so optimistic. I have every reason to be. I caught a real break working in a place like this. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? I'll see you later. All right, let's talk to this bar lady. You're not a big drinker, are you? Chill out. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. You tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Just feel like chatting? Go ahead. Told you, I just got shot into space by a crazy scientist. So what's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. Well, there's no need to be rude. And there's no need for you to pry either. What if I told you I just got shot in the space by a crazy scientist? Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. I wish it was a joke, but I don't even know where I am. Most folk forget where they're standing after a few drinks. Seems to me you've got a head start. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there, and I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. It almost sounds like you're afraid to go outside. Let me make something clear. 
Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. I think it's a mistake living your life on everyone else's terms. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. Yeesh. Alright, I'll take off. Alright. Birdie Cotton. From the Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, a writ of execution effective immediately for Bert Cotton, former vicar stationed in Edgewater. B vicar Age no longer in good standing with Halcon Halcyon Branch Order of Scientific Inquiry, at large and dangerous. One of her destruction of company property, murder, a company worker in no good standing, sedition, and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Generous bounty payment on delivery. Must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Reyes for details. Doc McBell. Okay. I've been feeling pretty low these days. At least you got your health. Ooh, wait, hang on. Ha! <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, you hear about Wilson? There's marauders gone in. Just right. between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of this salt too, but... You moron. All right, these guys are miserable. Looks like uh, I'm gonna have to uh, force them to wake up. Right, we're gonna go to people up. It's time for a revolution, peeps. Maybe I should have got the walk faster thing. Hear that? Huh. I say we walk this way. We Okay, go and quiet.
Oh wait, I'm not gonna have to mess with it. Oh crap, until like I desert. Alright, so I got this dude's key to mess with the thing. So getting in isn't gonna be a problem. Getting out, that's gonna be a whole different issue. Because once I divert that power, it's going to be uh, a little bit. <laughs> I've always wanted to poke around in here. Yeah, you got a point. Good point. Let's uh, check it out. Oh. Thank you, ready. Shoot me. Hey, I got clearance. Now, right, let's get out of here. Where'd you go? God damn it. Clearance, damn it! <laughs> Alright, you know what? You know what? Tip top shape is expected, and something you're carrying needs repair. You can repair weapons and armor the workbench using workbench and armor parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's Oh. 
the hell? This place go all wonky? the hit and run. <laughs> okay. Seems to me a bunch of these people are dead. Gonna need it anymore, so I'm taking it. Uh, let's get. Process. Uh oh. Come on. 
girl. Security. The control room should be... I'm, I'm sorry, what? You're right. 
in the bar when I asked if you were a drinker? Uh, let's get back to it. Okay, let's do this. You tried the best, not try the rough. Spacious choice. Client status. This access port brought to you by space. Blah blah blah. Plant operates at 22%. Power is currently being distri distributed to Edgewater Sanctuary Cannery. And mechanical labor laboratories. Warning structural damage detected. Please notify your what? Safety failure detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Warning, redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Processing error. Power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Please activate the three electrical track switches. Uh, do you know what? Okay. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. <laughs> 